A court in Morocco has sentenced 33 migrants to 11 months in jail for illegal entry following a deadly mass border crossing attempt into the Spanish enclave of Melilla last month. This comes after a, at least 20 migrants died after around 2,000 people, many from Sudan, stormed the frontier. This is the worst death toll in the years of attempted migrant crossings into the Spanish enclaves of uh, Cueta and Melilla, the European Union's only land borders with Africa. On the sentencing, the United Nations, African Union and Human Rights Group have condemned the use of excessive force by the Moroccan and Spanish security services. Yesterday, we talked about what's happening in Sudan and uh, how there had been clashes. And we, we see that th these countries are running, not because they want to, but of course, there are several reasons. Hardship in their country, uh, they've become victims of war and crisis, tribal crisis, religious crisis. And of course, they're seeking a better life, which is why this is happening. And it's just sad to see, you know, this deaths that have been happening it said that this is the highest death that's happened in a while and it's just really sad to see this happen Miracle, you know like you said you know these um you know migrations aren't necessarily happening because of you know not necessarily not because of such of a greener pasture but mostly because of survival um, a lot of these places are war torn a lot of them of course you know have also gotten to be severe um, um to feel the severe effects of, of um you know the economy and, and the recession in different parts of the world um covid19 and whatnot um, and so they would always, you know, set for you know better life elsewhere. Interestingly, right? the Sadly. one in Ukraine and uh, uh, Russia sort of has a way to spiral down. We always have conversations here in Africa about the impact of the war in Ukraine and Russia, but that's a conversation for another day. Of course it is. <laughs>